Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Smiley Kids channel. Today we're going to see Class 10 Mathematics, Chapter 1 Real Numbers, Exercise 1.2. So let's begin. Question number 1. Prove that root 5 is irrational. In order to prove any number to be an irrational number, we're going to first take the number and assume that so and so number is rational number. And such a method is termed to be as the contradiction method. So here, we are asked to prove that root 5 is irrational. In order to prove that root 5 is irrational, first we are going to agree or assume to this fact that root 5 is a rational number. We are going to assume to the contrary that root 5 is a rational number. Now, it is an obvious fact that if any number is a rational number, it can be expressed in the form of P upon Q. So, root 5 can be written as P upon Q. Now, when I take the Q to the other side, it becomes Q root 5 is equal to P. Now, this is what I got. Upon arriving to such an equation, I am going to perform squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides, that means either of the sides of both the LHS and RHS of the equation must be squared. That means Q root 5 whole square is equal to P whole square. This is what it means when I say squaring on both the sides. Now this gives your result 5 Q square because root 5 whole square is 5 and Q square is definitely Q square, isn't it? So it is 5 Q square is equal to P square. Now look at this. 5 Q square is equal to P square. So here we can write that P square is divisible. P square is divisible by 5. And when P square is divisible by 5, definitely P will also be divisible by 5. So it is P is divisible by 5. Now, I'm going to assume or let P is equal to 5M. Now, why have I taken only 5? That's because here we are asking to prove that root 5 is irrational. If it is suppose let's say root 3 is irrational then it will be p is equal to 3m. If I was asked to prove that root 2 was irrational then let p is equal to 2m. But here we have proved that root 5 is irrational so let us assume that p is equal to 5m. Now when p is equal to 5m what will p square be equal to? 5m whole square that is equal to 25m square. Now why did I do p square? That is because I want to substitute the value of p square in equation number 1. That is 5q square is equal to p square. Now I am going to substitute p square in equation number 1 which is going to result me 5q square is equal to what? 25m square. Now, if I send the 5 to the other side, it becomes 25m square upon 5, which is going to give us 5 times 1 and 5 times 5, isn't it? That will result you q square is equal to 5m square. Now, what are you going to write? q square is divisible by 5 and q is divisible by 5. That will be your next step. We arrive to this fact that q square is equal to 5m square. Now, q square is divisible by 5. And q is also divisible by 5. Now, wait, what? We understood the fact that root 5 is written in the form of p by q where p and q are 
co-prime numbers. But what is this? This contradicts our fact that P and Q are co-prime numbers because both P and Q have at least 5 as the common factor. But this contradicts the fact that P and Q are co-primes. Hence, this is a contradiction which is arisen due to the false or incorrect assumption that root 5 is rational number. Hence, the given number root 5 is a rational number. Prove that 3 plus 2 root 5 is a irrational number. Now, first we are going to assume to the contrary that 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational. So, it can be expressed in the form of P by Q. Now, when I send this plus 3 to the other side, it turns out to be minus 3. So, 2 root 5 is equal to P by Q minus 3. Now, I am going to find out what? I am going to find out the LCM. So, 2 root 5 is equal to P minus 3Q upon Q since Q is the LCM of Q and 1. Now, when I send this 2 to the other side, so it becomes division, isn't it? It is in multiplication. When it goes to the other side, it turns out to be division. Now, P minus 3Q upon 2Q because 2 here has come to divide. Now, have a look at this particular equation. We observe that the RHS that is P minus 3Q upon 2Q is a rational number. Why is it a rational number? Because P and Q are integers, isn't it? But when you look at the LHS, we know that root 5 is what? It is an irrational number. How can an irrational number be equated to be a rational number? Isn't it? This is a contradiction which has arisen due to the incorrect assumption that 3 plus 2 root 5 is a rational number. So we conclude that 3 plus 2 root 5 is a rational number. Prove that the following are irrationals. First one, 1 upon root 2. Now first we are going to assume to the contrary that 1 upon root 2 is a rational number. So 1 upon root 2 can be written in the form of P by Q. Now upon cross multiplication we get Q is equal to root 2 P. Now when I send P to the other side it becomes Q upon P is equal to root 2. But wait what? Here, Q upon P, where Q and P are integers, turns out to be a rational number. But when you have a look at the RHS, we are able to see that root 2 is a irrational number. So, this is a contradiction to the fact that 1 by root 2 is a rational number. So, we conclude that 1 by root 2 is irrational. Seven root five. Again, the same procedure. Let us assume to the contrary that seven root five is a rational number. Hence, it can be expressed in the form of p by q. Now, when I send the seven to the other side, it turns out to be division, right? So, root five is equal to p upon seven q. Now, wait what? Have a look at the RHS. We are able to see that. P upon 7Q is a rational number because P and Q are integers. Now, what about the LHS? Root 5 is an irrational number. Again, it is a contradiction, isn't it? This contradiction has arisen due to the incorrect assumption that 7 root 5 is a rational number. So, we conclude that 7 root 5 is an Irrational number. Six plus root two. Again, six plus root two has to be equated to p upon q because we are assuming to the contrary that six plus root two is a rational number. Now, 
When I send this 6 to the other side, it turns out to be P by Q minus 6, isn't it? So, root 2 is equal to P minus 6Q upon Q on taking the LCM. Now, have a look at this particular equation. So, 1 on the LHS is a irrational number, right? Root 2 is an irrational number. But have a look at the RHS. Where P and Q are integers, P minus 6Q upon Q turns out to be a rational number. But wait, what? It again contradicts our fact that 6 plus root 2 is a rational number. So we conclude that 6 plus root 2 is an irrational number. Hope you all enjoyed watching this video. For more such videos, please subscribe to our channel, Smiley Kids. Thank you.